Hey, welcome to the Pod Couple, and uh, we're podcasting about the movie Dunkirk. And uh, today I've got with me the beautiful Pod Gal. Hey. And Paul Whittington. Hello, hello. And the ever charming Jeff Carpenter. Well, hello there. Well, guys, what was that movie about? What was it about? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. It was about getting back home, it sounds like. Okay. Yeah. Well, hang on. Before we go any oh. further. Oh, there will be spoilers. There will be yes, spoilers. Yes, laden mm. with spoilers. So, Jeff, what did you think? I thought it was awesome. A great, I, the best war movie I've seen in quite some time. I guess after War of the Planet of the Apes, another war movie. Those are the last two that I've seen. Both excellent movies. I don't know with I don't know how I'd place this one compared to that one, but it was it was great practical, all pretty much all practical with some models. So it felt like you were really there and and immersed in the in the environment. Yeah, it was a really interesting show. It's um, first of all, I thought it was it looked great, mm-hmm. and uh, I thought about you, Paul, and. You you probably would have because you look great. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see me It was hard not to. It was hard not to think of Paul. <laughs> right. well, but uh, yeah, you look great. <laughs> oh, and, thanks. And um, I know you were gonna probably say to me that it would probably look better on an HD TV. Do you feel that way? Uh, it's hard to say. I thought it looked fantastic in the in the cinema. I think we were a little close, so it had that kind of a flat feel. Um, yeah. I think that I don't know what that was, but yeah. it could have just been the dimensions of the screen. Or and something, I could also but... see some like seams in the screen because we were so close. There was to it. something about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. did you guys see a flickering at yeah, times once when it was bright or a little bit? Yeah, I saw a few bit of flicker. I didn't notice that so much, but yeah, I just sort of noticed the. But we were pretty close to the screen. The screen, yeah. yeah. We were super close. I think we were the second row in. Yeah. And there was at times where the action was so kind of shaky and stuff i felt like vomiting which i right. guess is um, that's kind of the point i think yeah really, it was it, the point that, that's totally. what made it so good was that it puts you in there like you were one of the guys every every angle every shot was at an angle that from a perspective of somebody that was there in in the right. in the, the place right so you just felt like you were there the whole time yeah very immersive and the sound design was incredible oh my, my was, god it was insanely incredible <laughs> i mean it was so well done and it just felt like you were there and the vibrations and yeah. of the deep bassy sounds and right. everything it just it totally puts you there like you were just in there yeah so. the bullet hits pretty close. something would, would surprise you, like those are the jump scares where the bullet hits or the explosions that you, that you weren't expecting just kind of jolted you out of your well it was cranked right yeah. like our row was shaking i saw it shaking back <laughs> yeah and no and, it was uh, shaking yeah i don't know i felt like i was in the action too but <sighs> yeah it was loud wasn't it yeah yeah, yeah i I actually feel like I've just been at a rock concert. Like my ears are basically buzzing, and it did feel like they had the sound cranked to the point of just like, like a little bit over distortion, distortion like around zero dB or something. I think that was the, our chairs shaking, was yeah, that rattling. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. But the sound design in general was just well done. Oh it did yeah, feel like it was really loud. Yeah. I think it's because we were so close, maybe. It seemed maybe, like a lot of the yeah. sound was coming from the front. So, But I also think they did that intentionally because that's what the soldiers would have been experiencing right. Right. that. Yeah, the, though the actual like the sound design and the loudness of the... It was fine, but it felt like they cranked it just enough. You could feel a bit of a... Um, not intentional, but like a distortion of the oh, speakers. Oh, okay. Like the, it's hard to say if it, that was intentional or if it was the cinema blasting I it a wonder. little too loud. Right. So. It's hard to say, but yeah. either way, it's still it was, it was still incredible. Yeah. yeah. Well, I have one complaint about the sound design, and that's when they were flying in the air, oh. and uh, I thought they should have had some Kenny Loggins in there. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> little, Dan- uh, danger zone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the danger zone. <laughs> well, part two is coming out soon. Yeah, so right. yeah. Look forward to it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I thought it was an amazing movie, and I loved the Apes movie, which we last saw and reviewed. But this one, I it was incredible. I loved it. So I felt I. like so I was I. friggin' in the movie. Yeah, absolutely, it, it was. I feel I don't know. It was like a roller coaster ride for me. It's like, why am I putting myself through this? I've probably lost five years <laughs> of my life yeah. because <laughs> it was so suspensefully intense and heart gripping well the thing is um i didn't find it so much as heart ripping 
like you know some war movies right. you, you walk out of there and you felt like you've been beat to he- right. beat to shit right okay but this one it was for me it was all suspense and right. it was so well crafted that it was yeah. amazing right the suspense was through the roof yeah so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Say, you don't know if they're gonna drown or what's gonna happen or and they had the that water. music that, that, that kind of made it feel like it would help made it feel more like it was in real time like you were there was that continuous um music the way the music the deep right. sound right. it was just continuous throughout the entire film and also wow. that, never stopped and also that ticking clock you'd hear and that. the ticking oh, clock that's, that's, yeah. that's, that's always letting you know that there's time because there's, there's a lot of ticking clocks in the like the in filmmaking when you're doing like will, will he get there before this, his fuel runs out and all these other things will he run will he get out of there before he, he runs out of oxygen and all this stuff so right. a lot of, lot of those ticking clocks in the movie yeah and I think even the pacing it would be like the sounds would get faster and faster. Yeah, right? and yeah. it's like the action's more intense. And yeah, right. they it was amazing. Yeah, they were. They it was very well crafted in, in terms of the suspense. And uh, I guess there was only three act or three or four actors that I recognized. There was uh, Kenneth, Tom Hardy, Kenneth Branagh, yeah. Yeah, Tom Hardy, Cillian Murphy. I think that's all the three that I know. That was all I recognized. Well, I didn't recognize anyone. And didn't recognize anybody. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. I like Kenneth. It Kenneth Branagh. Cool had a bigger part. Yeah. I guess nobody really had a big part. No. In the it all, yeah, no. It was all divided yeah, up yeah. pretty. But he was good. He yeah. Was, yeah, yeah, he was good. And... It's so interesting. And like the Admiral and I think he was the Admiral, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then his boss, um, they were on the deck and they had their capes on or their overcoats. And they reminded me a bit of Darth Vader, actually. <laughs> oh, like yeah. with the yeah. Stati thing. <laughs> But yeah. Uniform, yeah, and Tom Hardy spent all of his time in the plane, so he didn't really get to see him. Yeah, he you didn't. Yeah. 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 yeah, wow. But he still did good. Why wouldn't he parachute out earlier? Right when everybody was getting rescued by the civilians. Spoiler alert. <laughs> right. I, don't, I don't know if we had, he was high enough or if he was, um, or coming in too fast. I don't know. Oh like, yeah, he probably wasn't high. He didn't have enough altitude. Yeah, and then he's coming in low. He had no power. He had no gas, so he had to. Land on the beach somehow, and then he just was checking. He he was gonna jump at one point. He he opened his, his yeah his ca- whatever the, right. the cabin. Oh, but, okay, maybe but you're right. He decided maybe he wasn't too high. That's why fi- that's what I figured. It's hard to say. Yeah, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I would have risked jumping out <laughs> over getting captured by the enemy. Right? <laughs> maybe. Do you yeah. know if any of those characters are based on actual oh, people? Or I don't know. I don't. I don't. I mean, I'm sure that 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 flotilla of civilians really happened, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know the history about it too much. We were talking. Paul and I were talking earlier about how we don't we didn't really know the timeline of Dunkirk. It was that's probably, what that's I what said we were too. About too. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I think it had to be early forties. Yeah, forty yeah. yeah. two or forty three. Yeah, that's what I'm. Latest, yeah. yeah, I'm thinking just forty two or forty one. Just after France was taken over and before the Americans got involved. Yeah, because there wasn't too many Germans around, so it had no. to have been. So, yeah. yeah, exactly. But I mean, it had to be. We more. should know this. <laughs> well, no, but I'm thinking um, that battle was the one where churchill decided right. to go all right. in right like with yeah. mm-hmm. air force navy and the army because they do a right. speech at the end yeah which is right, exactly right. and i'm also thinking for me there uh what came through to me was like there was talk in the beginning about the army was really upset that um the warships and the spitfires weren't coming to help them yeah and then in the end, they did come, and it kind of they they were all united and cheering each other. And I thought it was a bit of a unity film, mm-hmm. bringing For the sure. three different areas together. Oh yeah, and I like yeah. that it wasn't all sentimental. Like it was just it just at the end a little bit, but it was the tone of the of it was it was fine, and the rest of it it was just very. Like we were talking before, but you were saying how he's it was Nolan. Yeah, you were asking if he was you know or mentioning about yeah. you know. Uh, how he's similar to Kubrick in a right. very cold and clinical way, or obje- and more objective, was, yeah, yeah, in a more objective way. And this film was absolutely that way all the way, yeah, one hundred percent. Except maybe at the very end, a little bit when they just got a little, yeah, well, just a little bit, which is fine. You know, you yeah. don't want to have all that throughout the whole movie, like a Spielberg right. film or something. <laughs> right. So, <laughs> right. You know, hey, hey, Heaven hey. forbid. Mm-hmm. I'm the movie hater here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, that's interesting. And uh, I really like that scene where they're all kind of waiting for that boat to yeah. lift up and float away. Right. And that then boat, yeah. all of a sudden it's getting shot. And then all of a sudden water's coming in. <laughs> I was thinking, get the hell out of there, guys. Like, yeah. 
I couldn't see that thing floating. Right? <laughs> yeah. That was being shot by the plane above, or I think it's just guys on the shore. I think oh, the Germans okay, doing I didn't target hear no shooting. Plane going over. I, no, yeah, I think it's just guys shooting at. I was. Yeah. yeah, they said it was target practice, but right. it just kept coming and coming. <laughs> and I like. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was. Yeah. I think they said they said before the Germans could be just over that hill, whatever uh, they're, they're advancing. So right, and they looked up there. So I think that's what what it was. But yeah, you never you never really saw much of the enemy at all. You no. Never, that's, uh, well, that's good. That's yeah. kind of what like again. That's more. I noticed that too because that makes it more merciful again because you don't you see it from the perspective of the, 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 the Allies and then that's it right. right you know you're not seeing it if they cut to the 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 Germans the enemy right right then you're again you're back and forth oh, and you're not interesting. in it anymore right yeah it's more like you're watching a movie but this is all from the point of view oh, of wow. yeah. just them you know right. trying to survive so right. I thought I, that was a really well, yeah, well and, thing to do intentionally yeah yeah intentionally yeah. Oh, that's very you cool. You only saw them from, from their the Allies' yeah, point of view. view right. You saw the enemy Either, either in a from plane them. or or being captured. At the, you know, captured, Exactly. Right? Yeah. Which I thought worked great. Yeah. And uh, I really like the opening scene where they're running with that stretcher. Yeah, and running out. And oh, the, boat's trying, the boat's taking off, and they're running, and it's like they're getting so close to take off, and it's like, oh, gee, we're running by the phone. <laughs> and I thought, oh, geez, they're never going to make it. They're so far away. Yeah. yeah. And then they get it a little bit closer, and you can see the boat way in the background thinking there's no goddamn yeah. way they're making that thing, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was intense. Yeah. yeah, so that was a fun scene for me. Yeah, there's a lot of I say a lot of running out of time scenes in that movie. Totally. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. And when the like, one boat or the uh, airplane landed or you know, crashed in the water and he was sinking and he was trying to get out and yeah. how's he gonna get out? And, oh right. my god. Yeah, it was pretty well done too. Yeah. Yeah, it was uh, nonstop suspense. Yeah, and that poor guy who was trying to get out—I don't know what the actor's name is—but they like yeah. one of the privates. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think they were that well known. I didn't know any of those guys. What they went through, like it was just thing after thing after thing. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. It gives you, it does give you a bit of a sense of like. I remember being on the edge of my seat when I was watching it. Like, this is very uncomfortable. Like, I would not want to be here in real life. You know? No, I know. I mean, right. Yeah, yeah. So, could you imagine what it would uh, be like? Right. I That's just insane, man. Yeah. Yeah. So I, yeah. The film captured that perfectly. And I had like the opening sequence where they're you kind of get introduced to the whole them in the streets, mm. and you just you kind of you're kind of learning the world as the characters themselves are kind of being exposed. And then all those with the papers pamphlets, are, are going down, saying you're saying you're down, surrounded yeah. and give up and stuff. And then you, yeah. then they get they go to the beach and it opens up until what it kind of starts up small and gets bigger. It's it? nice and wide shots. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that was that was really, that was really to, well done too. Yeah, yeah. To, the introduction was pretty interesting. I, I thought the beginning was fantastic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it was even that part where the bombs are coming in, and you see a bomb go off, and then some people are dead, and then it's oh, closer, yeah. and closer and closer. Oh, and closer. We go, okay, wow. <laughs> yeah, I love how they did all those bomb shots from from the point of view of the of the the soldiers. Yeah. So you just right. see them like going off in the distance, and then right. getting closer and closer, and right. then past you. Past the <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was cool. Stuff. It was oh cool. yeah, that's in really front neat. Yeah. In front of the camera, so yeah, just like a bomb just went right off in front of you. So yeah, that was cool. Yeah. Very cool. And I said it, it's pretty much. I think it was done with a lot of practical effects. I think yeah, they used it's a bit hard of, to know. Yeah, yeah, he said there wasn't much CGI in that movie, so it was pretty much all practical and some and some mo- and some model work. I don't. I said I haven't okay. really st- I haven't really studied it, so I don't know which parts were. Like some of the boats, I like guess, sinking would have been models. It, well, there yeah. was a ton of boats been. sinking. Yeah. <laughs> like a ton. <laughs> yeah, the water was the enemy as yeah. well. My God. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's, yeah exactly. I'm never going to take a boat again. I, I don't trust those. <laughs> don't trust those things. They yeah. go down all the time, Jeff. Yeah. Yeah, and it was interesting. Like when I think about it too, there was a lot of like being locked in yeah. scenes. Yeah. And maybe that is similar to them being locked in, like they were surrounded right, by trapped. Right, trapped, exactly. so they're trapped. Yeah. They yeah, were yeah, trapped in so field. many yeah, ways. There was a lot of that. Yeah, 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 exactly. And I kept asking myself, would have I been a brave <laughs> civilian and got on my boat and went <laughs> to really Dunkirk to rescue the yes. soldiers? Oh, I don't know. You'd probably send some texts. <laughs> maybe a tweet. <laughs> <laughs> Sending love, heart, heart, heart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well done. I, would, I probably would have. I probably would have. Yeah, thumbs up. Big thumbs up. I probably would have. I really started uh, that movie. Also, made, made me want to have some jam on toast too. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! god that brand looks awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Yeah. yeah, I noticed, and I don't even like 
charm. So. Yeah, I guess it's a very British thing. But <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, that was good. <laughs> It looked real good. Yeah, yeah, real good. It did. So, no, I loved that movie. I really, really, so I. really liked I it. I thought it was incredible. Yeah, You me say, too. And how would you rank it in Nolan's filmography? Yeah. Well, like I mentioned before, I thought it was, it's my, it's my favorite, I think. Yeah. That and Memento. Yeah, right, the two best, yeah. I would say this, I, yeah, I would mm-hmm. say this is, well, he's hit and miss for me, so right. and a lot of his, I think they're all well crafted to some degree but mostly writing issues right. i have trouble with and yeah. but this one i just liked everything about it mm-hmm. so I, yeah, yeah i for agree me, i think this would be my favorite of his right. so what's your rating on this one paul uh 21 out of four <laughs> <laughs> no, no it's, like it's up one to there. ten yeah i'd say nine i give it a nine don't question yeah I'm right. 9.5 yeah, yeah 9.5. it's right up there this is a this is one of the best movies i've seen in years yeah, yeah. It's, it's just so well made. Yeah, right? it's incredible. I mean, this is this is what for me film is all about. Just the right. raw, just do it, show it, you know. Mm-hmm. And you're not in a movie, you know. It's, there's not all this music all the time that's drawing its attention to and itself. It's just raw. It's showing you what's going on. It's intense. It's well written, well acted. Everything just bang you know yeah you don't feel like you're in a movie you just feel like you're there right Right. yeah and the other thing i thought was awesome was there wasn't a lot of gore no right which i totally appreciated yeah yeah yeah, that's true yeah you're right like like they were able to tell the story and make you feel like you were going Mm -hmm. through a portion of what they were going through but there wasn't a lot of blood and Mm -hmm. Yeah, you didn't see a lot of blood, did no, you? No, there was, there was anything. no decapitations no. or anything. Like, like nothing. Just saw people getting killed. It was always in the background. Yeah. Yeah. They were all drowning. Yeah. And drowning. Yeah. 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 I guess so, the, only, the only blood they had was on that kid, and he just got pushed down by one of his own, force. Right. By one yeah. of his own people. So that was kind of interesting. How the yeah, only that blood, is interesting. He gets killed by one of his own yeah. unintentionally, like, yeah. accidentally. Yeah, yeah, that scene was all well well done, yeah. too. Because yeah. yeah. you're thinking he's going to yell at him and scream at yeah. him and stuff. But, of course, he did the right thing. and. Because he understood what he was going through. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. That's. I mean, that's the way to do it. He was a hell of a guy, wasn't he? <laughs> he, was he, guy. he was. Yeah. You know. And, and he, then at the end, when he croaked, he didn't say, "Yeah, you killed my brother." He said, "No, yeah, he's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Go yeah. on with your life." <laughs> but it was interesting because the first time that soldier asked the son, yeah, he, um, "Is he okay?" and he said, "No, he's not. He's very badly hurt." And then. At the end, after he died, and at the end of the movie, the soldier asked him again, "Is is he okay?" And that's when the son said, "Yes, he's he's fine." Yeah, exactly. Did, did yeah. Him, hey, Mister, him. you've got a dead body down here. <laughs> we'll just shove it underneath the couch and be careful. <laughs> Put, him in put, put a chair. crumpet with a jam on in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah, that was good. So, Jeff, what's your rating uh, on this? Movie? I think I give it a nine too. I think I'm, I'd give it a pretty high eight point five to nine. I think I'd say. Nice, um, Pod Gal. I'm pretty much the same as Jeff. Eight point mm-hmm. five to nine because you know, and it might be a solid nine because I liked it more than Planet of Eight or the War yeah. for the Planet of the Apes. And I gave that 8 to 8.5. So better, yeah. I thought it was excellent in every single way. I wouldn't mind going back and watching it. And it's motivating me to learn more about Dunkirk and that right. particular right. historical piece. Yeah, exactly. It would right? be more interesting like, to... Because I, I never really learned much about the battles. So no. I, for me, it was always the Holocaust. was my area of interest. Oh, for yes. So yeah. I studied a lot on that yeah. earlier on, like young when I was younger and stuff. That was always my area of interest, but everybody else was more interested in the battles. Yeah. I never really was. I So I don't yeah, know much same. about them. And there's so many of them, right? Which yeah. one do you pick yeah. to learn about, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I remember and, brushing over it in, in, in school, like, you know, where they would... Dunkirk, fuck teach that shit. <laughs> <laughs> they give you, know, like, what, an hour on Dunkirk, and then they go... <laughs> well, well, I know. I know. <laughs> well, now they have a movie they can show the so kids, though. There you go. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. That, it would right. be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to the movies, kids. Yeah, but like you, I don't know the battles. And my area of interest, I like the World War II genre, and I read a ton of books on it, but a lot of it is French resistance mm-hmm. and that. Right, so right. again, a little yeah. bit of holo- the Jewish piece. Mm. and Yeah, the Holocaust was always very interesting. Yeah, so that's my knowledge. So I've got to start learning about the battles and learning mm. how to be a good leader. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. And a civilian, right? Where's Kenneth right. Brown? <laughs> yeah. <That's right. laughs> 
Well, I'm going to give this one an 8.5. Mm-hmm. 8 or 8.5. Because I see how many, your guys' kind of rating system is a little bit loosey-goosey. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go 8 to 8.5 8. on this one. <laughs> Solid, high suspense. I liked it. Looked beautiful. Sound great. Yeah, pretty high. Say pretty high uh, rating from Paul. I say he he's usually pretty critical of a lot of these movies. So him getting is basically exactly his type of movie. So. He's been on a bit of a run now. Yeah. So. so this is three for three for me. Then. <laughs> right. Except Baby yeah. Driver, yeah. Um, the Apes, yeah, one and this one. So yeah. the last yeah. two movies I've seen, I thought were awesome. Yeah, yeah well, what guess. a summer! That's and weird. who would? Because yeah. yeah. normally the summer stinks for good movies, <laughs> yeah, in my opinion. Yeah, it was just any movie. We usually it's like one out of every five movies yeah. I see and I like, and that's about yeah, it. And, same. Right. But no, this has been you're, on, you're on a hot streak there, Paul. <laughs> yeah. Let's keep it alive. <laughs> yeah. I think there's something called um, Justice League <laughs> really? coming out that you're probably gonna like. <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah. Speaking of trailers, what do you think about the Blade Runner one? Actually, the, I liked it. You yeah, liked, I you did liked too. It looked pretty good. Yeah. And I noticed a scene in there where. They're in um in a in a in a room some cabin thing with a there was a stove with a pot right right cooking. right I think that is inspired by the open it's supposed to be the opening scene of the original Blade Runner oh really because that's how the original script was written he said I remember him talking about um there being um I can't remember exactly but there was a uh, an right. android in this in this one little cabin room thing and he was right. cooking something on a pot. And we saw that in the trailer. That right. just reminded me of what the original right. writer right. said about the Blade Runner, oh, yeah. the first one. So maybe out of homage to that, they right. included it in this one. I don't know. Anyway, whatever. Yeah. That's pretty Paul, and, oh, that's cool. Oh, and Paul, they call them replicants. <laughs> yeah. Not androids, okay? <laughs> yeah, well, replicants. The book is called, but it's based on is Do <laughs> Androids Dream of Electric right. Sheets? Oh, 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 androids. Yeah. 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 Gotcha. gotcha. Uh, good one, good one. I look pretty interesting. What do you think about the color palette, though? There's a lot of, like, Oh, it looked good. You think it looked interesting? Yeah, it's, well, it's all very orangey and right. red. And, well, that's like the original. Yeah. They, they, had, they even had the the silhouette shots in the streets walking, right. you know, right. just like, like uh, mm-hmm. what's his name, Deckard in the original one. And right. They got all the, you would, what do they call them, those big giant screen, floating TV oh, right. screens. Right, right. And, yeah, it just looked it like the old one. Right, so, it should be interesting. I'll check that out. It'll look good. No it'll definitely look what, good. It'll yeah. look good, yeah. 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 And the same kind of music. I don't know if Venge is... Did he do the music? No, it's different. It's a different guy. It's not okay. Vangelis. It's someone else. Okay. I forget who it is. But Son of Vangelis. Son of there you go. <laughs> but De- Denise but Villeneuve is doing it, and he's uh, he did a, The Arrival, which I haven't seen yet. Oh, okay. He, he did oh, The Arrival yeah. one. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he did some other ones. He's and he didn't, Yeah, he's done some really critically acclaimed stuff. So oh, he's, sweet. He's right. a good director, yeah. Um, so wasn't Deckard a replicant? I don't, I don't they know. didn't say but if he's was, old then he can't be a replicant right? oh or yeah good, unless they're, they're that advanced right exactly but they kind of imply that he is because of the little the figures unicorn. the unicorn how else would he know right Right. the guy from Miami Vice what's his name again oh Edward Ramos yeah Edward Ramos Don Johnson <laughs> <laughs> Croc, Croc, Croc and Tubbs Croc, Croc and Tubbs <laughs> maybe he's all the <laughs> 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 yeah, well, so obviously, Get him, Crockett. so obviously he's he's not a replicant. Oh, the cat's out of the bag, that. right? There you go. Oh, good, so. good. good one. Was that Rachel in there? Uh, I don't think so, Rachel. Was some? There's a couple other women that I think look, were, well, were uh, yeah, replicants just based they on made her it, model. Look like her, so, right? Yeah. But she was a replicant too, so right. probably based on the yeah, as you say, the same the model. model. I yeah. did see the Nexus something or other in the 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 word Nexus Nex- six. Nex- something like I don't know if it was Nexus. Six. I saw Nexus something. I didn't see the number, but I just saw the Nexus. Well, it's in the future, so it'll probably be like. Right. 6.0 or, 6, <laughs> yeah. 6.2. or way, I think way higher than that yeah, yeah. we're talking 7 10.1 <laughs> oh, well, so then also it looks like um, who was the guy that was in Requiem for a Dream oh yeah Jared Leto oh uh, yeah he, play, he yeah. plays like the, 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 the builder or something kind of like the guy that was in you know the builder that was in Blade Runner I forget who that was the guy with the glasses who oh, Rucker yeah, yeah. Howard pokes his eyes go, out with his go thumb. for my eyes yeah, yeah goes, pokes he's a good eyes. actor yeah yeah but Jared Leto, yeah, like he play, he seems to be playing that kind of role again, like the builder of the of the replicants. Oh, sweet! I don't, that should be interesting. I don't I know. Didn't, I missed that on the trailer. Yeah, yeah. I recognized yeah, him I too. too. I like I thought, him. I don't know if I like him or not. I do well, like he, him. Everybody hates him as a Joker. So I never saw. Yeah, so I didn't see that one. I never saw Suicide yeah. Squad. Yeah, but he was good in that one where he played. Uh, what's the name of that show? With Matthew McConaughey. 
Oh, I never Broke saw that. Brokeback Mountain? Well, no. No, no what the, one, was the, it? the one that <laughs> he, the one where he's like a cowboy getting his yeah. Yeah. What the hell was the name of I never saw that one. Oh, yeah, yeah. He won. He think. He was really good. I liked him in Fight Club. Was he in Fight Club? Yeah, he got he got beat up by Toucher. Billy Idol looking dude. Oh, I had no idea. Wow. He got beat up. Funny you mentioned Billy Idol. I'm a huge fan now. What do you mean now? Eyes without a face. Flesh full friend. <laughs> so what did you think about the um other trailers what else there was justice league which you mentioned which looks like hot garbage to me it's it awesome. like it's like it want to be want to be avengers we're getting all these serious really? trailers I thought, good. I thought it looked good really? too. i actually <laughs> thought it looked good <laughs> so I, and like, then, like, I no, wanted might, to yeah. see it after right. that yeah i don't know i just I no i was just kidding yeah. <laughs> So I think the first trailer was that historical one with... Um, oh, yeah, with uh, playing Churchill. Yeah. Churchill. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was like... Uh, because we got to see that speech twice. Twice, yeah. twice yeah. in one yeah. night. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What are the chances? <laughs> hey, there's a tie-in. <laughs> no. Maybe it's a prequel. Yeah, right. I thought that looked excellent. Yeah. yeah I, want to see definitely, that I can't definitely, wait to see it. Definitely character piece. Oscar bait. And that's Oscar Gary Bates. Oldman? And that's Gary Oldman, yeah. Wow. Yeah, 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 I look, know. I couldn't awesome. believe it. Yeah. He's great. I love that guy. <laughs> he's, he's CG'd now. <laughs> yeah. And then they had the um, Inconvenient Truth. Truth. To, yeah, to, I want to, to see that, too. Yeah, and, so do I. And Everything like, that bashes I do, Trump. I do like the way that it started out with Trump going. It, it was so, yeah. I like, yeah. timely, very timely, which yeah. is good. Yeah. And then it was like, that trailer is pretty much gripping, right? right? And then I noticed after that trailer, there was like the whole audience was quiet. Like it was, nobody was saying anything. And then I'm just thinking to myself, okay, wow, all these serious trailers. When's the superhero trailer? Oh, and then it came. It's DC. <laughs> <Right. laughs> I don't know, yeah, there it is. You can't go to the movies and see a bunch of trailers without seeing at least one or two yeah. superhero yeah. films. And they had that vil- Valerian, not venereal, vil- Valerian. <laughs> the venereal? <laughs> Valerian <laughs> and the, what is it, City of a Thousand Planets or whatever. Oh, yeah, you said it sucked. Yeah. It's getting that? panned. Yeah, it's getting, yeah. It's, oh, yeah. you're it, kidding. It, it, looks really, it, looks it looks really interesting to me. Yeah. But, well, I think it looks it, good, but it doesn't, yeah. I mean, it just yeah. doesn't appeal to me. I yeah, know. shoot. I think, oh, yeah. So um, there was this one called Scotia Bank that's coming out. <laughs> yes. I think I saw a trailer for it twice or maybe even three times. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, Scotia uh, Bank. It looked awesome. Yeah. And there's an awesome movie on Coca-Cola coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh my like, god. It's like a James Bond movie where you're skiing down the mountain and stuff. Yeah. But it's like this 20 minute Coca Cola commercial. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, and then man. all of a sudden it's like, happy uh, 150th. Canada and it's yeah. like oh Jesus Canada sold out to Coca Cola. <laughs> I like how they got a dig at the Americans. Uh, good words maybe because they yeah it, it was so yeah. stupid. It was Bad like, lots yeah so there was like three car commercials, <laughs> tons of banks like cell phones. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, yeah. You go to that theater you get hit. With that. Yeah, so, yeah you do. You know, really you could have took your call and met I could have so we didn't. Yeah, yeah we that's what I wondered because I said to Pod Guy. I can probably do the interview. I know it's huh? going to be really like right. yeah. it will end Scheduled. on time. And just I said, find out how long the previews are. You yeah. did and text me, and I can get to zip me to the theater. So yeah. we probably could have. We yeah. probably could have. But we I think know this for that theater now. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. That good there's point. There's approximately twenty minutes to <laughs> yeah. to work At with least. there. I haven't At seen least. that many commercials since uh, the last Star Wars film. Yeah. yeah. Oh. The last one, the one the. For, right. Yeah, you know, the Abrams one that was lit. It was a literally, I think, twenty five oh minutes. Oh my god! <laughs> but that's insane. The theaters are just thinking, "Oh, this guy's the guy that did Batman." Let's pump out the commercials because yeah. <laughs> they're gonna come and see it. Yeah, mm-hmm. unbelievable. And we did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I guess it was worth it for the the movie. Right? Yeah, I'm just glad it was a good movie. Yeah, me too. Mm-hmm. I thought it was excellent. I yeah. really enjoyed I just, it. I'm surprised if that thing doesn't win a couple awards. Right. Yeah, yeah. I hope it does. I really do. I just can't so. see how it, w- it wouldn't. I mean, yeah, it's, yeah. It's it's visually and and right. like say the cinematography, the sound. Is like I say, it was all shot on up. film, seventy mil, I think. 70 wow. Mil right. Yeah, it right. was shot on film, which well, is good because IMAX, yeah, that makes it, it l- gives you more of that because we all know. 
the war through film, through right. mm-hmm. film footage, right? That's right. how we perceive it. We don't see it as real life, at least because right. none of us were alive back then, right? Very right. few people. It wasn't a YouTube so, video. It, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, it's like yeah, to see it, you point. want that authentic kind of right. filmic look, and right. a 70 millimeter film gives you that. Right. It's not this sharp, pristine, you know, crystal right. clear digital stuff, which everything else is showing oh, today. Interesting. Which I think gives it that old war movie right. kind of feel look, to it. So. Yeah. It's like Apocalypse Now. Imagine watching Apocalypse Now. And pristine digital, yeah. yeah, it's got that old right. film look to right. it, you know. Yeah, that's right. Even when it's remastered in Blu-ray, yeah. it looks stunning. Yeah, but it still has that film look to right. it, you know, which is what and makes this, it. Work. This film will look awesome on, on Blu-ray too. It's, it's, oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's shot in seventy mil or IMAX, whatever it was shot on. So there you go. It might actually look better in. The, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, my bets are Blu-ray. that it will. <laughs> yeah, it might look good. Yeah, on Blu-ray or whatever, or whatever, four K on your four K screen. Yeah, yeah it would it, definitely look good on that. Get the super ticket. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> well, um, we're the pod couple, and thanks for joining us. And uh, thanks, guys, for being on here. Thanks, Jeff. You're thanks, welcome. Paul. Bye. 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 Bye.